Well, I went out this morning and got me a couple squirrels. I got one gray squirrel and one fox squirrel. And uh, brought them home and cleaned them and cut them up like you would chicken. And I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to put them on the grill. I, uh, I put them in the slow cooker in the crock pot for about four hours in ham broth. Now the ham broth, I got it from a couple days ago. I cooked some beans over the fire with ham and sausage. And then yesterday I strained the broth off of the beans and made baked beans to go with some fried crappie. And so today we used up the broth to cook squirrel. Four hours in the crock pot on low. And now we're just going to put it on the grill to pretty much heat it up. Belly's talking already. Yeah, these won't take long at all. They're pretty much cooked all the way through. Yeah, it's just been a few minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and turn them over. That's a pretty hot fire. I'm going to put a little sweet baby rays on there. Oh, take one more turn. A little more barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. Sample this little leg. Oh, that's hot. Mmm, that's good. we go. Grilled squirrel. Sounds like Max likes it. Just cut it up like a chicken. Cook it on low in ham broth for about four or five hours. Take it out, throw it on the grill. Not bad at all. If you don't want to make your own ham broth, you can get, uh, I think it's Mrs. Wages at Real King, different places. Makes a ham seasoning. There's a squirrel right over there. Oops, left a rib bone in there. another piece. I'm trying to think where I first heard about the ham broth. I think it was on Ingo, Indiana Gun Owners. Like 1140 or something like that posted about cook, slow cooking it in the ham broth. But he would slow cook it for four hours and then take it out marinate it overnight in Italian dressing and then throw it on the grill, which I'm sure that would be good too. Mm. It's good all kinds of ways. Right, Blue? Mm. 